Hi all. In this video, we will see how to parameterize database connections in Informatica. In the real time, in all the environments, we will see all the database connections were parameterized. It means in the runtime, the database connections will be collected from your file and pass it to the Informatica mapping and based on those connections, Objects in the mapping will be executed in the database and provide the, provide the result. Here, why it is useful is in general we may see many environments like uh, dev environment, test environment, dev environment, uh, test environment, as well as uh, production environment, as other, other environments, you see some other environments. So, if if you see, you have two database connections are separate databases for dev, dev, dev database uh, that is edw underscore dev ok and some other database for test edw underscore test and simply edw for production enterprise data warehouse edw is nothing but and edw underscore uat so if wherever you have different database names in different environments dev test production uat it is a necessary to parameterize database connections in our workflow because without parameterizing always for each and every this environment from dev to test, test to production or production or UAT to production always we may need to open the our session and change the connections manually it would need in all environments or all the migrations wherever we do to avoid that database connection parameterization will be helpful without touching a session or mapping or workflow we can change the connection names in the parameter file with that uh, at the runtime our workflow will read the parameter file and provide the connections to the session and session will run the components on those database connections Here, to configure the connections, what we need. So here, uh, we need to create a connection names as source and target. These source and targets are nothing but our OLD, OLD, OLDB connection names, uh, where uh, we configure our database connections with the name, uh, that name is OLDB connection name, with that directly we can access the database and creating a parameter file with the below structure here the structure is a uh, folder name I will show you what is the folder name if you open the designer this is our uh, repository and the folder name is info this is the folder name that we need to give in our parameter file and next workflow name whatever the workflow for which we have mapping and we are going to configure the connection that is the workflow name and the session name the session name is uh, for which uh, we need to configure the connections so this is the header section using this section the parameter file identify the session in a source of workflow or in a particular folder and later coming to the connection names so it is a database dollar db connection is a parameter for source database i am giving it as a source underscore source means uh, it would act as a source connection wherever the source connection required in my mapping I will configure this value and the same as target connection here the value that I need to assign is the connection name that, that is pointing to the desired database here the connection name is nothing but a OLEDP connection that is pointing to the desired database and we need to specify these connections, the connection names in the session properties. Now I will show you an example how a mapping works uh, without configuring a connections and with configuring the database connection. Here already I have created a mapping. Uh, for this uh, what I taken is I have taken a simple uh, source table. It contains one column input 
and I have taken another uh, procedure for this I am taking a store procedure as an input so this is a simple store procedure for which uh, it takes an input a single column as an input and return the same value as an output uh, using informatica I will capture this output and store into a target table so this is my target table sp underscore target currently I have some data in this target table I will remove this data now we do not have any records in our sp underscore target table now I will show you the mapping that I have created for this so this is the mapping I have this is our source where we have single column with digits as numbers and this is the procedure I have taken so it's a uh, this type of procedure is a normal procedure where it takes an input and the procedure will be executed for each and every source record and it produces the result and returns the value to this output table this is a target table ok so for this uh, now I will create a session in the task in the task developer task create a session here uh, s underscore s underscore m underscore return so this is a session name I am giving I am associating this to our mapping our mapping name is same as m underscore sp underscore return where our session name is m underscore s underscore m underscore return where then now I will configure the connections here now I will hard code the connections directly so here from the mapping tab in the connections uh, the target database connection simply I am taking as it as a target directly I am giving the OLDDB connection name here I am hard coding the connection and the source connection value is source and the target connection value is the target and the connection information for our uh, source processor is in source ok then now I will create a workflow for this in workflow designer workflow new workflow w underscore return var using line task I will connect these two now first flow is completed now I will run this first flow start first flow we can see the session log oh it got failed we will see the error invalid object name is underscore source we will see the database connection what we configure for source uh, connections here it should be source instead of target ok now I will run it again now it succeeded ok uh, I will see the data in the table so this is an sp underscore target where the source is sp underscore source here we have 7 records and the same 7 records will be inserted into our sp underscore target ok this is when we hard coded the connection now I will do a same session for that mapping again I will remove uh, I will delete this workflow and this session 2 by selecting the delete now I deleted these two ok uh, here we have this now I will create a parameter file with those connections so 
so in general by default the parameter file path will be this one in our informatica 9.0.1 server info shared and bw param here i will create a parameter file the parameter file name i am going to give is the session name that i have for this mapping so now i will create a session create again s underscore m underscore return var so associating to this one here in properties here this is the area where we need to give our parameter file name path now i will take the same name and create a file in this folder in a text file parameter file is nothing but a sim simply text file i'm giving the name as db connections i'm opening the file so as i stated in my ppt so this is the structure we need to follow directly i'm copying this and i will use the same here okay here the session name is i created s underscore m underscore return var okay as i show my folder name is info let me show you again this is my folder name info and this is my session name now i will create a workflow for this workflow name creating a workflow w underscore return return var and copying this okay now i will use the same this first one name here okay so the database connection for the source we have the oldb connection name as source and the target our oldb connection name is as target okay now i will give the same path in our session properties so this is our session properties in properties tab i will give this path okay and in the mapping section in the connections so i will change this connections this is a target db connection i am using a connection variable underscore target for our target this is the variable that we declared in the parameter file okay and our source again connection variable we declared it as a source db connection underscore source and similarly for these two source and target it as a target db connection target now this input connection here our procedure here in our procedure in properties tab we have a connection information we need to change this to source and the same connection i need to update here i'm refreshing the mapping with the latest changes in the mapping tab in the connection so this is our source connection it's updated it's a source okay here this is the path where our file is exist it's done now i'm associating this session to our workflow and joining with using line task now i will run this workflow so it stands successfully you can see the data in our target table see earlier i truncated this table if you want again i will truncate this table and run this and i can run this workflow again restart so again it succeeded you can see the data now so in the target the data is inserted we can see the details in the session log also the session log the connection variable that we passed 
and the connection value use overhead value that it has taken as source and taken as target thank you